Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel. Is this your first time of coming to my channel? Thanks a lot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe since this tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your wrap maxi dress now this form of dress you can basically make use of any fabric of your choice to achieve this dress such as your african prints your cutting fabric lacra chiffon it all depends on you and this is one style that is very unique and sweet especially for those on the maxi size or on the plus size it is actually very easy to achieve now what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your wrap maxi dress? You have your shoulder measurement, bust, waist, hip, and your gown length. So let's go ahead now and calculate our measurement. So our shoulder measurement is 14. 14 divided by 2, we have 7. Our bust is 36. 36 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1, we have 10.5 inches. Our waist is 32. 32 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 10 inches. Our hip is 38. 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1, we have 11 inches our gown length is 60 inches so basically the 60 inches is from your shoulder to your gown length and don't forget that what we want to achieve is our wrap gown it means that for the upper part of this wrap you are going to have your wrap effects for the upper part and the lower part you are going to have your maxi dress all you have to do now is to deduct your upper part where you are going to have your wrap effects from your gown length so that is your waistline and your waist is one inch above your navel button so from my shoulder down to my waist i'm going to have 16 inches so i'm going to deduct 60 from 16 16 inches from 60 inches now i know you might want to ask me that how did i come across 16 inches for my waist or how will you know your waist measurements i have a detailed tutorial on size charts i'm going to go ahead and link the video here please go ahead and check out that video and size charts are also available we have comprehensive size charts from size 4 to size 28 comprehensive size charts from size 4 to size 28 which comprises of various body parts that you need so all you have to do now is send us a message reach out to us and place your order for your size chart so let's go ahead now and deduct 16 inches from 60 inches from 16 inches 60 minus 16 we have 44 inches now we are going to go ahead and add two inches to our set for our sewing allowance we have 46 inches while for our half length which is 16 inches we are going to add one inch for our sewing allowance which is 17 inches so from our shoulder to waist we have shoulder to waist we have 17 inches while from our waist to our gown length we have 46 inches now what we want to achieve is also off shoulder we want our wrap this time around to be off shoulder all you have to do is determine how many inches off you want to take for your wrap so you can take off two inches you can take off four five six it all depends on how you want to rock yours and how off you want your off shoulder to be for me now i'm going to deduct six inches because i want my off shoulder to be really off okay so we are going to deduct six inches this is our half length now which is 16 minus six inches for our off shoulder we have 10 inches so our length now is going to be 10 inches for the upper part and at the lower part we are going to have 46 inches if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on trainings are available both online training and physical training now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial so guys now we want to cut out our wrap maxi dress so the first thing we are going to do of course is to go ahead and mark your basic measurements so this is our shoulder now shoulder to bust nine and a half shoulder to bust nine and a half shoulder to under bust 13 and a half shoulder to waist 17 inches now i know you might want to ask me that how did i come across all these measurements i have a detailed tutorial on size charts i'm going to go ahead and link the video you know at the top bottom at the top part i'm going to go ahead and link the video somewhere here please and we also have printable size charts that is available okay so just check out our details in the description box and place your order for 
your size chart right it makes all these calculations to be very easy for you now when you want to draft your maxi dress your wrap maxi dress please for me it is advisable you start from the back block so because this is where our dress is going to stop which is the basic part where you are going to have your wrap i will go ahead now and cut out this part because we don't need all this in our dress so let me go ahead now and cut it out so this is how our top plane should end so this is what we have so we'll go ahead now and draft our darts our dart measurement is four inches we'll go ahead and connect the lines together on the waistline mark half inch on both sides on your waistline mark half inch on both sides and you connect your lines together so this is what you have the next thing you are going to do now is to mark your basic measurement so our shoulder measurement is seven inches go ahead and mark that our bust is 10.5 our waist is 9.5 inches so connect your bust to your waist making use of our pattern master which is also available now because what we want to achieve is off shoulder it is necessary for you to know the number of inches you want to take off and this totally depends on you you can take off five inches you can take off six you can take off seven you can take off nine inches but just note that you know the number of inches you take off that will determine where your dress should start from so i'm going to make it of six inches i want it to be a little bit deep which is six inches i'll go ahead now and connect it so automatically this will become our new shoulder because it's off shoulder you don't need all these parts so on this new line now go ahead and mark your shoulder measurement so our shoulder measurement now is seven inches connect your shoulder measurement to your bust in a slant shape in a slant shape this way can you see it in a slant shape so this is what your off shoulder should look like so the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and cut this out after cutting it out you can see what it looks like you can decide that you want your back block to have zip so if you want yours to have zip please include your zip allowance to your back block so this is what it looks like now let's go ahead now and drop the front block i will also extend all these basic lines that i have for my back block to for you to have your wrap now what you are going to do is that you are going to mark four inches all the way so i'm marking four inches this will serve as my allowance for the wrap four inches so you can make it of four inches or five inches it depends on you so i'm making use of four inches now this is what we have so what you are going to do now is from this four inches is where you are going to take your measurements this four inches is the allowance that will serve as your wrap so from this bust now go ahead and mark your dart measurements you can see where i place my tape measure from this four inches allowance so connect the lines together on your waistline mark half inch on both sides mark half inch on both sides go ahead and also connect the lines together so now you go ahead now and mark your shoulder measurements which is seven inches your bust measurement 10.5 you will discover that i started marking from this allowance your waist measurement 9.5 connect the lines together and don't forget that what we want to achieve is what's off shoulder we took off six inches for the front block so for the back block so you're also going to take off the same inches for this front block so i'm going to mark my six inches so if you make use of four inches for the back block you are going to make use of that four inches also for this front block now go ahead now and mark your shoulder measurements on this line seven inches i hope you guys get it but if you don't please feel free to drop your questions below now connect your shoulder line to your bust line you can see i will just extend this line 
so this is what it looks like just in case if you want yours to have like a shape in the front maybe you want to have like a sweeter shape or a round shape you can just basically give you a curve right you can just give you a curve if you want to have like a shape a round shape at the front you can just give you a curve just to give you that curvy front shape now this is what it looks like i'll go ahead now and cut this out so guys now after cutting out your back block we want to cut out our wrap effects for the front block we want to cut out our wrap effects for the front block now another thing you also need to take note of is how deep do you want your wrap to show now how deep you want it to show will determine how many boobs you want to display or sorry how much how much boobs you want to display right now if you are very conservative you really don't want to show too much of your boobs you can just mark five inches but if you want to pepper them okay you want to pepper them with the style you can come down with seven or eight inches it depends on you so are you team pepper them or are you team conservative put that down in the comment section i really want to know where you belong so i'm gonna go ahead now and just slant this as much as i can so i want mine to stop somewhere around the under bust so let me know where you guys fall are you team pepper them or team you know just conservative just a little so now let's go ahead now and cut this out yeah so this now will give us your wrap effect this is what your wrap effects will look like by the time you are done so now let's go ahead now fold your fabric into two once you are done folding your fabric into two go ahead and place your pattern so i'm going to fold my fabrics so guys after folding your fabric into two you've placed your pattern now this is what you are going to have by the time you open this up you can see what it looks like you can see how cute it is so it's going to overlap this way it's going to overlap this way right so it's going to overlap this way and this is what we are going to have so you just open it up and then it flows like i said you can take it deeper if you want or you can take it higher so this is what it looks like so guys now we want to cut out the back block we've gone ahead now to fold your fabric into two okay fold your fabric into two i'm making of this beautiful african print and african prints are available so fold your fabric into two once you are done place your pattern this way this is what you are going to have one single so guys i want to show you guys how to cut out the off shoulder sleeve of course our off shoulder wrap is also going to have sleeves so i want to cut out the sleeve now so what i'm going to do now is fold your fabric into four this way so i've gone ahead now to fold my fabric now the number of inches you took off from the dress don't forget that we took off six inches so go ahead now and mark that six inches here go ahead and mark that six inches here i hope this is showing but let me zoom it in so go ahead and mark that six inches that you took off so if you took off five inches from the dress it means you are going to mark five inches if you took off four you are going to mark four inches now because our off shoulder is going to have elastic i want it to be very full elastic so that i can pull it up and down as much as i can i'm going to add about 10 inches to it and this is optional so you can add seven inches you can add eight nine ten it depends but i want it to be very full so i'm just going to add about 10 inches to it now for the lower part also our round sleeve is six 12 inches divided by two we have six plus two inches for our sewing allowance we have eight inches so for the lower part your round sleeve divided by two plus your allowance and also i also have to add my elastic allowance to the lower part so i've gone ahead to add 10 inches to it i will just connect the lines together <laughs> So basically just connect you know the lines together it means that this is the amount of fabric we are going to be working with so 
now you want to achieve your arm or where we fit into your arm or now place the number of inches you took off outside your fabric this way i took off six inches six inches is off the fabric right six inches is off so if you took off five inches five inches will be off your fabric so six inches and then if you guys can remember our arm o was nine inches right our arm o was nine inches on the dress nine inches but i am not going to mark nine inches why don't forget that we have about one inch here already for your elastic allowance you are going to pass in your elastic here so six inches the number of inches you took off place it outside now our ammo is nine inches because you have one inch allowance here add that allowance to it so i'm going to mark ten and half the reason why i added half inch is for sewing allowance so ten and half this is how deep our ammo is going to be so the number of inches now i added for my number which i added for my allowance we said 10 inches so this is why i have 10 inches give it that slant shape also that slant shape and this is because this slant is going to fit into the slants of your arm oh now this is basically what it looks like for your sleeve length add three inches to your sleeve length now why are you adding so much to your sleeve length don't forget that you are going to have one inch this way at the lower parts for your elastic already and you also have one inch at the upper parts for your elastic so add about three to four inches to your sleeve length so just go ahead now and cut this out it will fit into your sleeve your dress so you can see your arm oh it will fit into your dress arm oh so this is basically how to cut your off shoulder sleeve with elastic so guys now for the width the amount of fabric you need for your width because the lower part of our wrap is going to be pleating kindly multiply your hip measurements by three if you want it to be very full or you multiply it by 2.5 it depends on how full you want it to be so my hip basically let's just say it's 40 inches multiplied by three i have 120 inches so it means that you know when you check out all this width of fabric I have 120 inches for the width right the width of the fabric now for the length of the fabric is just to deduct your upper part of your fabric which is 17 inches from your gown length so for me now this is what I have I have 45 inches I'm gonna be making use of the whole length of the fabric because your baby girl loves a gown to be sweeping the floor okay I love when my gown sweeps the floor keep Lagos clean <laughs> Is of the old length which is 45 inches this is what i have for the old length so i have 45 inches by 120 inches so your hip multiply by three in order for you to gather this up i have a detailed tutorial on how to make use of gathers foot i'm also going to go ahead and link the video somewhere here so that you guys can watch it right gathers foot makes your pleating to be equal and accurate so this is what we have now for the lower parts wrap 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 <laughs> so now this is the front block right we have two pieces for the front block because of course it's wrap effect we've gone ahead to turn this with your lining make sure you iron while you sew it makes your work to be very neat so by the time they overlay on each other this way you can see the wrap effect and you can also see our arm o this is the front piece now for the back piece this is what it looks like one single piece i've lined it also so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and make your darts don't forget to add your darts to this once you are done you place okay you place the front block on the back block this way you place the front block on the back block this way and then you go ahead and use your bust measurements waist measurements to couple this up so that you can have a single piece this way because it's wrapped you can see you're going to have one single piece this way so once i'm done joining that i'll show you guys what next you have to do now for the sleeve I've gone ahead to fixing my elastic 
just basically stitch your elastic on the upper part and also stitch your elastic on the lower part so this is what it's going to look like at the end of the day just makes it you know give you that balloon of shoulder effect and this is what it should look like i'll show you guys how to attach this to your dress so guys so guys now we've gone ahead to attach our sleeve to it you can see what it looks like and then this is what our wrap dress looks like our wrap this is what it looks like you can see this part now just wraps and then you can see like the let me put it this way you can see what it looks like you can see the sleeve the balloon effect of the sleeve how full it is and then you can also see the wrap right so you can also see the wrap so basically this is what it's going to look like so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead now and attach the lower piece to this so what i'm going to do now i have this lower part which i'm going to pleat on this part right on the upper part now so you just go ahead now and now you can see what it looks like you can see the effects of your wrap you can see how cute it is and the balloon sleeve standing and this is what it looks like so basically the next thing you're just going to do now is to go ahead now and attach all this um dress which is the lower part of your fabric attach it all the way from this part so you are basically going to pleat it gather this up okay make use of your gathers foot i'm going to show you guys the video of how to gather here now you just gather this up all the way to this other part once you are done i'm going to show you guys what next you have to do so guys after coupling this up this is what it looks like so we've gone ahead to attach our pleating to the wrap area and this is what it looks like so i also went ahead to attach my belt on the two sides because you're basically going to use this belt to wrap it across your body and this is what our wrap dress looks like so you can see your wrap effect you can see your wrap effect and you can see how it overlaps and then your balloon sleeve and this is what your maxi dress looks like so thanks so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye